So Sarcom P450, it is a uh, drug enzyme that being utilized for do, there's something called the phase one metabolism that goes in the body. And so there are different substrates, so different levels of, if you want to call it that way, uh, of sarcom P450 enzymes. And so in a, in a pharmaceutical term, it's called substrates. So there's a different substrates of those sarcom P450. And the majority of that, um, that, that plays a role, bigger role in this, in the aspect of drug metabolism is something called 3 a 4 enzyme. And about 70% of the drugs on the market right now are being metabolized such. So especially drugs like, um, Lipitor, which is a statin drug for cholesterol, uh, as well as certain uh, drugs like Verapamil, which is a heart medication, and certain other drugs can be metabolized that way. And there's certain things that can actually interact with that enzyme. So a um, common thing that a lot of people end up having to eat in the, in the morning is grapefruit. Mm -hmm. So grapefruit is a known agent to actually inhibit, so it stops the, the actual enzyme from metabolizing certain drugs. And so when you Taking statin drugs, especially um, Lipitor or Zocor or even uh, Crestor, um, those are brand name cholesterol medication. On as a warning level, and even uh, as a pharmacist, we have to put auxiliary level on the bottle itself. And if we have to mention that, hey, you should avoid eating grapefruit because it can actually increase the level of the drug itself, and you could have side effects, and as well as have a, dr a deadly drug interaction in certain cases. So those are things that we have to educate now. Why we're talking about that is because of the fact that uh, isolated form of CBD, if you just look at just CBD alone, it is a uh, cytochrome P450 inhibitor. And so it can stop this uh, certain drug metabolism that's going on. And there has been studies available, uh, as well as the fact that there are studies in terms of taking high dose of CBD, it can cause liver damage as well. So those are things of uh, much more importance in terms of those elderly patients, those patients taking multiple uh, drugs, that needs to be accounted for. And so uh, when I educate patients, yeah, it, those are things that need to be looked at. But when you're dealing with a uh, et ethanol extract, uh, full-spectrum CBD, in terms of that, um, as, a, as a practitioner, I haven't seen it. And a lot of the oldest studies that are being utilized for showing drug interaction, they are being done with uh, you know, CO2 extraction as well as looking at the isolate form of CBD. And so, uh, looking at in terms of how the, uh, those, uh, ethanol extract is, you know, full spectrum CBD products. So far right now, we haven't seen any drug interaction whatsoever. And I have patients who are taking, um, you know, I have, you know, taking number of drugs such as warfarin, uh, as well as certain HIV drugs as well. HIV drugs actually has a high level of drug interaction which can be critical, and especially for patients who are suffering from um, you know, pain and as well as all the uh, issues that are going on, they're taking multiple medications, right? So drug interaction has to be looked at. But when you're looking at a ethanol extracted, cold ethanol extracted, uh, full-spectrum CBD, we haven't seen any of that issue at all. So that's the safety profile of having a good product in your hand. Okay.